I'm Carmelita Pavarelli Schwartz. I'm wondering, can you help me find Pastor Jenkins? Oh, yes. Ask them. Those two know everybody. Okay, okay. Um, and what does she look like? She's a little short lady with gray hair and a blue shirt with a clerical collar. Yeah? Okay, I'll find her. Didn't she say she was going to stand up to her? Well, that's what I heard. So I guess the pastor done lied. Lied? Who's lying? You don't lie to me. I'm here to help. I need to find Pastor Jenkins. Can you help me find her? Do you know where she is? She could be back there. Or she could be out there somewhere. You know, it's always something going on around here. We never know where she is. And that's the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, who are you again? My name is Carmelita Pavarelli Schwartz, but my friends, they call me Bert. <laughs> I, that's not funny why you laugh to me. No, I'm just here to make a very good deal for Pastor Jenkins. Can you help me to find her? Do you know where she is? Well, you know, she goes outside a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she walks around the building and she prays a lot, so. Her prayers are answered. I'm here. I will make her a special price and special deal. Okay, you come with me. We will find her. Come, come. That Mabel, she tell me that the preacher is sneaky, but I will find her. You wait, I will find her. There, cleaning lady, cleaning lady, you know where pastor is? No, sorry, cleaning lady knows nothing. Oh, cleaning lady always knows something. I have a special prize for no. you. If you is tell that me. pastor? No, no. Pastor? Not so loud. Oh. What? Mabel Wright, you sneaky pastor. I'm sorry, you're mistaken. Uh, what? Pink, you're not even good, sneaky pastor. Quick, 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 go get a picture, get a picture. <laughs> she is sunk now. <laughs> sunk. Why you hide from me? I like your scarf. I am Carmelita Pavarelli. Schwartz, and I will here to make you a good deal. But her friends call her... Bert. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? I'm your new social services director. Please tell me you don't have another clown in your car. If you have a clown, I'm out of here. I don't have clown. I have whole circus. Now I'm out of here. No, 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 stay. I make you happy. I bring you dancing bears, dancing clowns. Hi, why? Stop! Why are you here today? I just come by to say hello. I will come back another time and make you a special deal. But I will see you and you can thank me then. Okay? Bye bye. That's your two o'clock. Okay. But you received a call from a pastor, Leslie, too. Ann Leslie. Yeah, we went to seminary together. What's that old gal up to? Let's just say things keep getting more and more interesting around here. A good interesting or a bad interesting? You know, I'm not exactly sure. Just interesting. So you're going to keep all this to yourself? Can you not see on my face that I await with bated breath? <laughs> well, one of her elders is moving to this area. Uh -huh. She has the thought that he would make a great addition to your leadership team. Yikes. I don't know where to begin with that one. You know what? Try beginning with this. Am I to assume that he's white? Mm, most probably. 
Okay. Am I to assume that an elder outranks a deacon? Some say so, yes. So, once Deacon Hall and his family find out that you're immediately replacing him with some white guy who outranks him, am I to assume that this will not be received with, let's say, grace and mercy? What you may assume is I am getting such a headache. Mm. This is complicated. Here you go. I know it's your favorite. Thank you, honey. But you know that's not really true. Since when? Since the first time I laid eyes on you, you became my favorite. You sweet talker, you. I know what you're up to. I can't help it. You know it's raining outside and you know that always makes me very romantic. Raining outside or not, the elephant in the room has stumped all over my romantic mood. What elephant? The one that keeps yelling, he's leaving the church. He's leaving the church. Which means we're not going to be family anymore on Sunday mornings. Mary, it doesn't have to be like that. You know, you all can come with me. Or you can just stay. Look, Elena and I aren't changing churches. We're where God wants us to be. Can you say the same? If he didn't want me to leave, he wouldn't have given me the opportunity. And besides, it's way too much drama at this church to suit me. Drama? What you call drama, boo, we call moving forward. What time are you meeting Deacon Timmonson at the church? Uh, about three. And have you thought about what questions you're going to ask him? I don't need to ask Timmonson any questions. I've known him for a long time, and I know he'll do right by me. And he'll do right by us too, Mary, if you come with me. And besides, it's not going to look good if you don't. I mean, if a man can't keep his woman in check, how is he expected to take on a bigger leadership role? Keep his woman in check? How did you get from wanting to save lives for Jeremiah's house to keeping his woman in check? Well, I am the man of the house. And as far as Jeremiah's house is concerned, I talked to Timerson and he said he'll support it. I'm changing churches, not my commitment to Jeremiah's house. Come on, Mary, this will be good for all of us. It will never be good for us as long as your sole motivation is for you to receive a title. That's not fair. Lamar. You're going to stand in front of God Almighty and he's not going to give a flip about your title. The only thing he's going to be concerned about is if you were obedient, if you had a servant's heart, and if you cared about furthering his kingdom. So what do you want me to do, Mary? I want you to ask the tough questions. Like what? Like, do he want to integrate a church? Ask details. Ask, what does he think about Jeremiah's house? How is he going to serve the congregation? And what is the role that women play in leadership? You mean like remaining silent in the church? Okay, Mr. Funny Man. I'm serious. I'm not playing. Ask him the tough questions. Ask him, how do they... Serve the Lord outside the four walls. Ask him how do they deal with the church's money and who makes those decisions. All right, Mary, that's enough. Enough? Honey, you're my husband and you're the only man I've ever loved. Since you put a ring on this finger, we've been one in the faith. Don't tear that apart. <laughs>